Law enforcement will be using intelligence to guide patrols. This is one of the many strategies the Royal St. Lucia Police Force intends to employ to stem the rising tide of crime. The island has already recorded more than a dozen homicides only three months into the year. The majority of the slayings have been gun-related. Top cop Milton Daisy, during an appearance on NTN on Tuesday, offered some insight into the plans to bring the crime situation to heel. He says law officers will also be monitoring areas with a high crime intensity. We are hoping and we are continuing to have our patrols. That's one of the things that we will be doing. Um, we also are doing intelligence-driven patrols. So we would be doing our general patrol and do our patrol based, based on intel gathered. Um, we would also do our hotspot, what we call a hotspot policing. That is where, based on the um, based on the statistics, having analyzed it, you would find areas where um, crimes are more prevalent. So you would have your resources directed in those areas. Law enforcement will also be keeping close tabs on lawbreakers and troublemakers. We would be doing the hotspot individuals, right? So mm -hmm. we know the persons based on intelligence gathered again or past history of um, individuals. We would, we would keep a tab on those individuals, being at them, um, doing our stop and searches and so on, our traffic checks, all these things um, we will be getting um, into to ensure that um, we bring some form of normalcy into St. Lucia. The top cop continues to maintain that tackling the crime situation is a societal effort. Crime fighting is not the police alone. We know that is a big responsibility that we have to fight crime where we could um, prevent and um, investigate when it happens. But crime fighting in general, to see a reduction in the crime situation, it has to be, everybody has to, has to be involved. The various agencies, the, um, the schools that these persons attend, because um, before they reach that age, they would have passed a school. They, the family where they where they live, the area where they, um, where they live. So it is something that we need to work on holistically and um, so that we could see a total reduction in crime. The police have been busy investigating a number of recent shootings. Two people were shot dead and two injured in separate gun-related incidents on the weekend. Officers are also trying to determine the identity of two bodies found with gunshot wounds at Kako Babuno and Bossi Jugrozili. The top cop is appealing to anyone with information on these criminal activities to call the police hotline or pass on the particulars to a trusted member of society to help the police in their efforts to solve these cases. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.